geladas of Ethiopia. With a rich, full and flowing luxurious mane rivaling only the lion, these primates are in a league of their own. Only male geladas have huge thick manes that drapes down their backs, whereas their female counterparts do not. Even their tail is lion-like, not only in appearance, but also in function. This comparison is simply because both have long, thick hair on the tips of their tail. As for how their tail functions, geladas have non-prehensile tails, meaning they are designed for balance only, not for grasping. Their non-prehensile tails come in handy when, for example, they are running, jumping, or climbing. And speaking of climbing, although most of their days are spent on the ground grazing and grooming, gelada's climbing prowess can be seen in full effect as they can only be found in the high massive mountains of Ethiopia, which are located within the Simeon National Park. The highest point is 14,872 feet or 4,533 meters. With rocky, jagged terrain, they climb to graze and descend on below edges of cliffs to sleep. This provides a safe haven away from potential predators. At first glance, you would think geladas are meat eaters as they are known to have huge, powerful canines. However, they are not used for eating meat. Rather, they're used to feast on a buffet of highland grasses and leaves, which make up over 90% of their diet. They also consume cereal crops and fruits where available in highland escarpments. Geladas are in fact, the only primates on earth that are grazers and enjoy plant-based food, which would probably make them fan favorites of vegans. Males in particular use their canines to show their dominance and to defend their group and themselves and to ward off any rogue bachelor males seeking to take over their group. Individual gelata families are usually comprised of one dominant male, subordinate males, and up to 10 related females and their young. Gelada baboons truly believe in family. In fact, they can be seen eating together, grooming together, even traveling together. They often travel to graze in large herds of hundreds. Sometimes their numbers can rise to 1,000 or more. Perhaps one of the most distinct features of gelada baboons are what gives them the moniker bleeding heart baboons. This is when the male's chest color goes from a heart-shaped pinkish to vivid red color in the hairless part of their chest. The vivid red color happens when males are dominant and females are in estrus and ready to mate. In the case of female during estrus, their dramatic transformation starts at the upper frontal part of their neck, where clusters of what resemble vibrant red blisters and keloids starting down the frontal sides of the neck, then to the center of the chest in an almost X-like formation with more swelling beneath. The sight of the female's appearance to the human eye may seem painful even unsightly, but it's a beautiful welcome sight to behold for a dominant male seeking to mate.
Geladas are unique, striking, and beautiful primates with a host of characteristics and habits that are all their own. The best way to see them is to visit and tour the Sinian Mountains where they reside. Otherwise, you can enjoy this lion ape, bleeding heart baboon, and other awesome wildlife through the exciting educative content of the Wild Animal World channel. Thanks for watching and please comment, like, subscribe and share to get more unique and informative content.